His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, accompanied by his son, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, regarding his graduation from Britannia Royal Naval College with honours, distinction and the College Commander's Award. His Majesty expressed pride in this achievement and wished him success in his military career to serve the kingdom and its citizens. He also hailed Bahraini citizens' keenness to achieve outstanding results and honor the kingdom in various fields. The Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander First Deputy Premier expressed gratitude to His Majesty for his support to Bahraini youth in order to achieve their aspirations of serving Bahrain on all levels. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman thanked His Majesty for his remarkable support and prayed God the Almighty to continue the march of advancement and accomplishments under His Majesty's leadership. Following orders from His Majesty the King, the Royal Court ministers extended deepest thanks to members of the Royal Family, Speakers of the Representative and Shura Councils, Chairman of the Constitutional Court, the President of the Supreme Judicial Council, Ministers, Members of the Legislative Authority, Governors, Heads and Members of the Municipal Councils and Executive Bodies, Government Departments and Private Sector Corporate Officials and Members of the Diplomatic Corps who expressed their sincerest congratulations marking His Majesty's accession to the throne and Bahrain's National Day celebration. Celebrations. The Royal Court Minister also thanked citizens in Bahrain and abroad, heads of political societies, public associations, heads and members of national clubs, sports federations, editors-in-chief of local press and different media agencies, as well as expatriates living in Bahrain for their congratulations and the patriotic feelings they showcased during Bahrain celebrations of its national days. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued circular regarding the holiday marking the anniversary of the Prophet's birthday, peace be upon him. According to the circular, all ministries and government bodies will be closed on Wednesday, the 23rd of December, marking the anniversary of the Prophet's birthday. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received at Qudaybiyah Palace today royal family members and senior state officials. His Royal Highness said Bahrain is enjoying stability thanks to the royal wisdom and government's determination and the people's stance in dealing with events and succeeding in fighting terrorism in order for Bahrain to remain safe and stable in the framework of the one family spirit. He pointed out that the political analysis of the ongoing events require caution as economic and global challenges threaten development, highlighting that terrorism is threatening the lives and progress of people. He said the security and economic challenges require more dynamic and effective cooperation to avoid their repercussions. The meeting also reviewed national and economic issues during which the Prime Minister stressed the commercial field has an influential role in the economic process, saying the government welcomes all traders to discuss the development of this field and ways of facilitating commercial movement. He highlighted the government's care for cultural activity in Bahrain and affirmed the necessity of introducing national civilization and culture in addition to attract tourists to Bahrain's places of heritage. The Shura Council held its regular meeting today, chaired by the Speaker Ali Al Saleh. The Council congratulated the leadership, the people of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations on the advent of the anniversary of Prophet's birthday, peace be upon him, as well as on Christmas and the New Year. The Shura Council called on taking advantage of these occasions to reject terrorism and violence and reinforce tolerance and unity. The meeting discussed a draft law to amend a provision of the rehabilitation and employment of people with disabilities in addition to the law regarding the issuance of development bonds. 
His Majesty the King deputized the Labour and Social Development Minister Jamil Ben Mohammed Hamedan to attend the 31st ceremony to honor hard working workers and outstanding institutions in the private sector at Bahrain Convention Center Crown Plaza Hotel in conjunction with His Majesty's accession to the throne and Bahrain's National Day celebrations. Mr Hamedan delivered a speech affirming His Majesty's pride in Bahrain's labor power and their generous efforts in performing their jobs and their contribution in the forward march of Bahrain. He expressed appreciation to His Majesty's continuous support to hold this annual ceremony and said that Bahrain succeeded on lowering the unemployment rate to 3.1 percent, which requires the ministry to exert more efforts to maintain this achievement for the prosperity of Bahrain. He stressed the need to strengthen the labor market to generate job opportunities in spite of lower oil prices and expressed pride in Bahrain in providing benefits to citizens under the directives of the wise leadership. Mr. Homedan expressed appreciation to all workers in the private sectors and to the organization committee of the ceremony. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majl Nuaimi, launched today the educational curriculum for students with special needs at Ali Elementary School for Boys. The minister said the curriculum will also be applied in its pilot stage to 10 schools across the kingdom. He said the step comes in line with the ministry's keenness to integrate students with mild intellectual disabilities and Down syndrome and provide them with the best training and education opportunities. Under the patronage of the honorary president of Bahrain Parents Care Home, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and Bahrain National Day celebrations were held at the Bahrain Parents Care Home in attendance of Muharraq Governor and social officials or senior officials. Upon arrival, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali was received by the chairman of the board of the Bahrain Parents Care Home, Ahmed Mohammed al Banna and members of the home. He expressed his congratulations to Bahrain's leadership and hailed Bahrain's government's numerous achievements led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. A very good evening. You're watching the business and news on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,194.59 points, a decrease of 2.47 points below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks and services sector, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks, representing 68% of total shares. 35 transactions took place with a volume of 880,457 shares, worth 233,958 Bahraini dinars. Alba recently received a delegation from Middle Cables with its chairman Khaled Zayani, assistant managing director Rashid Zayani, and guests from Asia. The visit aimed to enhance business ties between Alba and Middle Cables. Alba's chief operations officer, Aysan Ansari, said that this visit affirms the continuing commitment to support and strengthen the customer base and Alba's contributions to the national and economy. And finally, a landmark project designed to attract tourists and residents to the old Manama Souk has launched in Bahrain. Little India in Bahrain celebrates the close and long-standing relations between the two nations. Daniel Deporto reports. Little India in Bahrain is a project brought to life by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACA, in coordination with the Indian Cultural Association, Sanskriti, other private sector sponsors, and the Kingdom's Indian community. The project's official launch was attended by Bahrain's Ministers for Foreign Affairs and Culture, as well as India's Minister of External Affairs and Ambassador to Bahrain. We've always wanted to have a Little India in Bahrain recognized. It's been here forever before our generations and today we are celebrating all those centuries of relationship between our two countries this place will always be here forever it will be open to everybody it will be a place where we will celebrate our relationship our variety of culture and our unified fabric of bahrain which includes us all here 
Little India spans an area of 5,000 square meters in the heart of the old Manama Souk. Preparations involved large-scale beautification and maintenance efforts like painting, the planting of trees and the preservation of 14 historical houses built from Indian wood. The opening featured around 400 participants, showcasing music, dance, food and crafts from every region of India. The Little India project in Bahrain is an ongoing one, intended to enrich Bahrain's cultural tourism in coincidence with the 2015 Our Year of Heritage and ahead of 2016 Bahrain Your Destination. Furthermore, it is hoped that the attraction will encourage local residents to rediscover the historical Manama Souk. It's all about exploration and Little India and Bahrain. What more could you want? This place has been here for 200 years. The Hindu temple is celebrating its 200th year anniversary. So we hope to activate the space on a weekly uh, basis, hopefully, inshallah, in the future. So there will be markets, there will be song and dance routines, and we're hoping as well to have fashion shows. And why is it here? Because it's historically relevant. Indian expatriates account for around 350,000 of Bahrain's 1.2 million resident population. Bilateral relations take back for almost 4,000 years and are characterized by close cooperation in the political, economic and cultural spheres. There are many families who are living here and the Hindu temple celebrating 200 years as well this year. And I'm very proud to say that Bahrain has given us this freedom of religion, freedom of faith, which we acknowledge, which the world should know that Bahrain is the most liberal country, being an Islamic state, believe me. We as Hindus are being given our rights and a Hindu temple celebrating 200 years is more than a statement. So yes, it's a great relationship, a beginning of a new era and from here we're surely going to move forward. Little India in Bahrain is not just an event, it's a legacy and a landmark. And hopefully with more private sector support, the Ministry of Culture can do more cross-cultural events in Bahrain. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. Yay!